Congratulations. Good night, Shaq. Get out of here. Top five, bitches. Who'd have thunk? Where's our champagne? I will forever go down as one of the very few chefs that have donned one of these black jackets. Hey, Jared, guess what? What? We got black jackets, bitch. It hasn't hit me yet. You have a black fucking jacket! I know. Oh my god. Ashley is my only support system, only person I trust. Congratulations. Thank you. It just feels so good to be experiencing this with her. I fucking made it. There's no way I was letting you go home. You're too good to me. For their first challenge as Black Jackets, Chef Ramsey has arranged to meet the final five chefs at a surprise location. Shh. Oh my god, I smell kids. I smell schools. I smell, I smell kids. School. Sorry. Good morning, chefs. Good morning, Good morning chef. chef. Today, all of you are going to be cooking for unique trendsetters. Chefs, on the count of three, remove your blindfolds. One. Two, and three! <laughs> Welcome to a Nemo Venice High School. What a reception. Wow, well done. Now, Today, all of you will be cooking for these amazing students. Now, let's go back to your years at high school. To jog your memory a little bit, Amanda. Oh, jeez. Let's check what's under the letter A. Wow! <laughs> you look exactly the same. I love the hair. Wow. <laughs> Oh, Let's God. see what's under the letter V, Kristen. Yeah. Oh, what? You, not all your hair. <laughs> I was in a pageant. Pageant hair. Ugh. 17. 17. This is so embarrassing. Wowza. Ariel, let's see what's under the letter no, H. Amazing. You haven't changed one little bit. No, Chef. Amazing. No. Gerard, let's see what's under the letter S. Oh! <laughs> Holy cow. I got these long, flowing locks. 17-year-old me is not looking so shabby. Oh, man. <laughs> I miss that hair. Ashley. Ashley, let's have a look. Oh my god! Oh my god. Where did Chef Ramsey get that god awful picture of me? Uh, cheerleader. Do you remember any cheers? No, I'm retired. Oh. Look at the bow in her head. She was fucking retired. <laughs> get out of here, bro. Right. This is your first individual challenge. Each of these teenagers are going to taste a delicious sample from each of you. This group expects to be eating in 40 minutes. Oh, shit. Your 40 minutes starts now. Let's go. In 
today's high school lunch challenge, each chef must create their own unique dish Hi, that can win over the taste buds of 100 hungry teenagers. I have two siblings that are in high school right now, so I thought about what they would like to eat. Like, we like to be outside and we like to grill together, and they like steak. Looks so like, what's the rub? Um, cumin seeds, some onion powder, garlic powder, and a little nice. bit of paprika. I nice, think nice, kids nice. in school, they like simple food that's straightforward with good flavors. Good, well done. Organize. Um, mini chicken pot pie, yes? Chef. And that's ambitious. Everybody loves chicken pot pie. It's something that I ate when I was in high school, but it's gonna be tough. I have to make the dough, I have to roast the chicken, I have to make the sauce, I have to cut the dough. Have you got time to get them cooked? Yes, I do. Yeah. Have faith in me, chef. Just under 13 minutes to go. Yes, yeah, chef. I've never made this much brown beef. This is ridiculous. I doubt myself a lot, and I gotta stop. I gotta knock it the fuck off. I'm the best chef here. What have you got? I got my Taco Tuesday. That's delicious. Thank you. I got this. I'm good. Just coming up to 11 minutes to go. Uh, Kristen. Yes, Chef. Talk to me about the dish. Doing a buttermilk fried chicken salad. Uh -huh. Keep it light. Good. My high school experience sucks so bad. I got kicked out of two high schools. I ditched school all the time. Kind of, I guess, the rebel, like the bad girl. And now I'm completely different. Uh, Jared, describe the dish, please. I'm doing a cumin dusty New York strip, Chef, mm -hmm. with chipotle croquettes. Good. When we were in high school, we would grill out in the school parking lot. Joe, I'll try not to set the school on fire. I'll do my best, Chef. But it was just a bunch of people standing around the grill while I did most of the cooking. So I feel confident with this challenge. And that prom night went well, yes? Uh, I don't remember the ending of you the night, You don't remember? Chef. No, nor does she. <laughs> 60 seconds to go. Last minute. The chef. And they are not in a mood to wait for food. I Speed up. Five, four, three, Two, one. Here they come, guys. Off you go, bud. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Boom. Quick, get them while they're hot. Steak tostada. Thank you. Got a buttermilk fried chicken, a tarragon ranch sauce, and a nice little salad to keep it light. Good old fashioned tacos. I thought feeding my kids was hard. This is so much easier with three kids and not an entire high school. This is, like I said, this is my kids' favorite thing in the world to eat. Honestly, you're such a mom. But I am a mom. Like, <laughs> I will always be a mom. You can do it. <laughs> There's a lot more children down there. I think everyone's got a crush on Ariel and Kristen. I'm like, what about me? Nobody has a crush on me. I'm really sad. What's your name? You're cute. I'll be 18 in three months. You'll be 18 in three months? Yeah. You want to go to prom. <laughs> These high school kids do not have palettes. So, I mean, charming them <laughs> is basically plan B. You're so cute. Kristen, oh. stop trying to pick up kids. Jared? I'm trying to be prom queen. <laughs> Will you take me to prom? Yeah! yeah I'll take you. <laughs> Who doesn't like a pretty blonde girl? but I look up at my station and there's twice as many kids in front of me. And I feel like I'm prom king, star of the football team. And I just told the principal to go sit on it. Jared, Jared, Jared. Jared, cool? Jared, God, I'm fucking Jared. G. Are we talking about the same person? Okay guys, start filling out the cards, please. Now that the kids have tasted all five dishes, they will judge them, assigning each dish a letter grade from A to F. The chef, earning the most A's, wins the challenge. Who's looking good? Who's looking tasty? Ashley. It's Ashley. Like, it's nice. Is it better than the existing food in the high school? Oh, oh please. Oh, whoa, you'll get me into trouble. Okay, good. <laughs> wow, right, ladies. I like Ariel. Young man, you're still eating, sorry. Kristen. Kristen. That's because you probably fancy her. <laughs> yes! I'm ready to do my victory dance. I got this. These kids love me. Uh, the grades are in. It's time to reveal your report cards. <laughs> Worst time okay. of the year. The dish that got the least amount of A's belongs to... Manda. What? Oh, dear. Oh, well, that sucks. Wasn't the popular kid back in 2002, and nothing has changed now. Just above, Manda. Kristen. Oh, 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 Sorry, Chris. 
Number one in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> At least my fan base stays loyal. In third place, Ashley. So it's between Jared and Ariel. The chef who finished in first. Congratulations goes to Jared. <laughs> I'm a big man on campus right now, and this feels good. Uh, Jared, congratulations on winning your first individual challenge. Thank you, Chef. That comes with a huge reward, because you, young man, are going to one of the most beautiful cities anywhere in the world. San Francisco. Oh, nice. You're going to enjoy the state-of-the-art home to the San Francisco 49ers. Oh, my God. The Levi Stadium. Nice. You're going to get a, a chance to meet some of the players. Oh, this is awesome. And even go down onto the field. Oh, Come on, man. Jared. This wow. is great. You have the chance, Gerard, to select one of your fellow team oh. members to take with you. Yes. He's going to take me with him because I've been there for him as a friend this entire competition. Going to have to go with Kristen. What? Thank you. Who doesn't like a pretty blonde girl? Bitch, if I'm your best friend, why the fuck wouldn't you take me on a reward, you dumbass? Wow. Well done, Kristen. Excited? Yeah. Your plane awaits. Let's go. I'm a little surprised right now, but I'm getting the hell out of Hell's Kitchen. Thanks, Jared. For the rest of the chefs, today is recycling day in Hell's Kitchen. So I asked this amazing school to drop off all their garbage from last week. I want you very carefully to go through all the trash, separating all the food from their bottles and cans and put them into the right order. Let's go. Uh, class dismissed. Your dumpsters are waiting. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Oh, kids. This can only be terrible. Thank you. You're welcome. This is just awesome. This is incredible. This is just over the moon. I feel like there's 60,000 fans cheering for me right now. Jared, Jared. Oh, they're excited. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kristen? Jared. I'm Dwight Clark. Ah. Guy McIntyre. I can't believe this. Dwight Clark and Guy McIntyre standing on the 50 yard line right now. This is epic. Congratulations on Thank your you. victory. You know, you're on your way to being the champ, right? Yeah, I mean, you guys know a little bit about that, right? <laughs> How is it being around Chef Ramsay? Oh my God. I mean, he's I get, extremely intense. He I is. get yelled at every five minutes about something. You can't take that personal because it just means they see potential, they love you, and they're pushing you Aww. to be the best you can be. He's just preparing you for the real world. That, that, that is some that's, of the best advice. Yeah, that really is. With this kind of motivation, I really feel like the person winning Hell's Kitchen could be me. Oh, baby. There you go. go. Woo! What? Very nice. <laughs> While Jared and Kristen take some passes from football legends, back in Hell's Kitchen, the other three chefs are wishing they could take a pass on trash day. This is disgusting. Ugh, meat. Oh, no. I don't like football. And I don't like Jared very much. But I don't like garbage either. Ew. Jared! God, you're so bad to me, bro. It's not even funny. I hate you, Jared. I don't give a shit about you. Don't speak to me. Don't look at me. Nothing. Oh, look, it's Jared. No, he, this one has a spine. It's not Jared. Oh, yeah, that one has a backbone. Definitely. Here, give me the other one. <laughs> this is Jared. <laughs> While Ashley trash talks Jared, he attempts to further his relationship with Kristen. This is beautiful. This is a gorgeous restaurant. Thank you. Enjoy dinner. I'm so excited. Aren't you? It's so nice to be out with somebody else that's not <laughs> right. Amanda, Danny. And... I'm really glad that I got to come on this reward because I want to take the effort to get to know Jared a little bit more. You and Ashley have been just 
like stuck together like glue this whole competition and I think that's closed off other people about you. It has. But now you got your first little insight of who I actually am. That's really important since how we're one team now. Right. I know Ashley already. I don't know these other girls, so I need to understand how they work so I can work well with them in the kitchen seamlessly. Everybody thinks I'm just like head over heels for Ashley. Would you vote Ashley in at the end of the day if like she deserves yeah, it? Yeah, if Ashley deserves to be put up for elimination, I'm gonna absolutely vote her in okay. because when it's business time, it's business time. That's the important thing, like you gotta be real, right? Yeah. To winning. To winning. After spending the day getting a little closer to Kristen. Awesome. That was a great time. Yeah, it was pretty epic. Jared returns to Hell's Kitchen not knowing what awaits him. You are officially fucking dead to me. Everybody dead to me. We are not friends. I am so furious, like I could break his neck. I want to know why he chose Kristen. I have been the only fucking person in this house that has been your friend. I genuinely thought Kristen would enjoy football more than you would. What do you think I do on Sundays? Fucking play with myself all fucking day? It has nothing to do with football, Jared. You're trying to be fucking sneaky again. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are, dude. I'm so hurt he chose somebody else when it was a perfect opportunity for us as friends to be able to hang out outside of here. You've officially lost the only friend you have. Ashley, I didn't think you'd be this upset. You're so full of shit, dude. You're just trying to save your own ass. Ashley's my best friend here. She's the only person I can trust. She's the only person that likes me. Like, I, sh I should have taken Ashley. Can't talk to you for a minute. Ashley, I never meant to hurt you. It's too late. I want to fucking wring your neck. So do it. I'm serious. Oh, man. I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm sorry. Best drama queen in a reality show goes to... Ash, it's been hard. Jared. I did not mean to hurt you. It's really bad. Leave you alone. Come here. I'm sorry. Everywhere we go, people want to know who we are. So we tell them this is the black team. Hi. Mighty, mighty black team. <laughs> How are we looking? We're looking good. With yesterday's drama behind them. We like to have garlic on every station. Yeah, white wine on every station. The black team preps for their first service in one kitchen. Black jacket, let's go. Next door, please. Let's go. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. So, tonight we're going to be hosting a very special chef table. You'll be cooking for a pair of incredible chefs. He's overseeing operations for some of the best restaurants here in Los Angeles. And she is a former Hell's Kitchen winner. Oh. Who is it? Of course, I'm talking about our sous chefs. Oh, my god. I'm more nervous about her being at the chef's table than anything else. Tonight, each one of you will have the most amazing opportunity to stand alongside me and become my sous chef. Get on your stations and prove that you can be a leader. Yes, chef, chef. Who wouldn't want to be Chef Ramsay's right hand? Let's get this service started. Mourinho. See, si, Chef. Open house kitchen, please. Let's go. Subito. Minute. As the dining room fills with celebrities and VIP diners, the chefs prepare for a nerve-wracking night. It's a huge kitchen. Jared, you good? Yeah, I am. Not only will sous chefs Aaron and Christina be dining at the chef's table. I have a special table here, right here, chef. Thank you. But each of the final five chefs will take a turn working alongside Chef Ramsay at the pass. Here we go, guys. Yeah, good luck. Engage, please. Full cover table 22, two risotto, two scallops. Yes, chef. Yeah. Yeah. Scallops going down. I take pride in all my food, but fish is absolutely my thing. Scallops walking to the pass, yeah? Heard, I'm walking. Left side, Chef, scallops. Normal cooks are here, my level's up here, but then with fish, it's even higher. Gerard. Yes, Chef. Raw scallops in the middle there. 
That one's raw. Just raw. We literally haven't even gotten out of the gate yet. Like, we're that asshole horse that just fell as soon as the gate opened. Scallops! Come on, Gerald, please. Yes, chef. Scallops. Excellent. Go. Ariel. Yes, chef. Hot plate, let's go. Yes, chef. You're now my sous chef. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> OK, guys, VIP, chef's table. Your risotto and carbonara. Let's go. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Kristen, three minutes on your risotto and your carbonara. Both? Yes, three yeah. minutes, both. All right, Jared, you got to speed up those last just Put them on the heat. Heard. Oh, my god, yes. More, 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 more. I love being sous chef. I love the pressure. It doesn't seem like pressure to me. Behind you. Walker and risotto on your right. Where's the lobster? I need lobster tail in the window right now, Jared. Right now. Sprinkle a little bit on top. Good girl. Lobster. Yep. Wake up, Gerard. Yes, chef. Yeah. See this? That one's a no, little, that's cold. Yeah, that's, that's cold. Like yeah, fucking. Jared, this lobster tail is not warm. It's actually Hard. raw on the inside. Hey, you're in black jackets for a reason. Gerard. Yes, chef. Look at me. Get your shit together. Yes, chef. Awesome job, Jared. You're two for two. Come on, Gerard. First lobster tail. Kristen, good. good job on the risotto. All right, thank you. All day on risotto, Kristen, you're working. One risotto, one carbonara. So I'm just get a whole bunch of pancetta rendering. Got it, it's already done. Okay. Kristen and I went from like not wanting to talk to each other to not needing to talk to each other. We both trust each other and we bang shit out. Kristen! Shut up! Serve the chef table, please. With acting sous chef Ariel, now happy with the chef's table's appetizers. Risotto? Thank you. Carbonara? Nice, nice, nice. You know where you're going, Table 11, yes? The positive trend continues as plate after plate is sent out to grateful diners. It's fantastic. OK, Errol. Well done. Good job. Really good job indeed. Thank you, Chef. Yeah? Thank you, Zero. That's good. Ashley, let's go. Hot plate, let's go. Yes, Chef. Being Chef Ramsay's sous chef is terrifying. Oh, no, yeah. No, is she OK? No, I'm good. No, OK, so you're going to be vocal. Yes, you're going to be strong. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get this food out. Fork of us table one, yes? Entree, two snapper, two New York strip. Yes, chef, two snapper, two New York strip. No, no, it's one snapper, one char, two New York strip. Hello? Look, look. Two snapper, two New York strip there. Two Stop, snapper, oi, two oi, New York strip. oi, oi, oi. Stop, all of you come here. You're getting the wrong information, urgently. Oh, I fucked that one up real good. You can't deliver the wrong information. Yes, chef. That's going, then there. That's it. Yes, chef. Ashley, if anybody knows you better than you, it's me, and I know you're better than this. Walking to New York Strip. Snapper walking. Hey, hey, that's burnt. I got more cut on the bottom than I have on top. Why would you do that? What cortex of your brain told you that was a good fucking idea? Dress to New York Strip. I got myself something fucking otherwise no one's getting fed. That might be a problem. Oh, oh there it is. Hey. Thank you. I guess you don't that. get to eat. Ours are coming. Is this is ever gonna come. It's coming. How long are those two snapper, Jared? Three and a half minutes out. Speak up. You need to get it to me quicker. Two and a half, okay. please. I don't know where Jared's head is, but he definitely needs to pull it together. Come back to Earth. Please, I'm begging you. Coming to the window. God almighty, why? Why, why, why? Hey. Hey, hey, guys, come here. Is that still the same two uh, snapper that you need to set up? Fuck. My jaw's on the floor. I cannot quite believe what I'm experiencing. It's fucking raw. Can you wake up? Yes, chef. Oh, dude, Jared, come on, man. All right, bring, I'm putting these snapper back in the pizza oven. Hurt. Jared is painful to watch. I might as well just kick you off the station altogether and do it myself. Snapper walking. Where do you want it? Yeah, that's it. Quick. With some help from Kristen, Jared's refired snapper Go. makes its way to the dining room. Hot. <laughs> Why? And now it's time for his next test. Jared, on the hot plate? Yes, chef. I'm really trying to turn the night around by being at the pass because at the pass is what I do every day at work, just like Chef Ramsay does. On order, entree for New York strip. Amanda, yes? Why is she not talking? Amanda, how long are strips? Not there yet. Yeah, yes? Amanda, yes? Amanda, talk yes. to him! Yes! Behind! Got both? I'm just praying, like, please don't fuck me over on this. 
Hi. Amanda! Yes! It's blue! Fucking blue. I'm telling you I wasn't ready. Amanda, nobody heard you say I wasn't ready. Get it ready. I want to finish this table. Yes, chef. Sorry, chef. Yes, chef. Sorry, chef. Yes, chef. Sorry. Four ship walking. Walking, chef. With the sauce. Nice. Fries on there. Put them there. With Manda's steaks leaving the kitchen and pleasing patrons. Fantastic. Oh. Good job, Gerard. Thank you. Manda. Yes, chef. Let's go. It's time for her to step up to the plate. So you're now on the hot plate. Yes, chef. Okay. We got one New York strip, one chard, yeah? Yes, chef. That's it, yeah? I need to prove myself to these guys. There is no way in hell I am messing up this next ticket. All right, I need one chard, one strip. Can we do that? Yeah. She can drive her team. Yeah. And she's vocal. Should be four minutes on char and strip, yes? No, four and a half. Four and a half hurt. You gotta be quicker than this, yes, though. Chef. You gotta be much quicker than this. Yes, chef. Amanda, she's a fighter, but I feel like her confidence is, is a fake confidence. And at this point, we really can't fake it till you make it. New York strip. Walk it with strip. Her, right here. Walking char. Thank you. I have no idea how this goes. This awesome. goes right here? That's it, you just place it on the plate okay. and just go round. Come on, let's go. Service. Thank you, chef. With Manda's turn as sous chef, a success. Kristen, yes, chef. swap places, the window, please, That's let's go. Snapper. Heard. It's time for Kristen to show what she can do working alongside Chef Ramsay at the pass. Fire now, four New York strip, two snapper, fire. Yes, chef. Four New York strip, two snapper, fire. Being put in the sous position is great. I can't wait to prove that I know what I'm doing. How long do you need? Kristen, I'm ready. Amanda. Amanda. Yes, chef. Not even paying attention to what the fuck is going on. I need your head in the game. Yes, chef. Yeah. How long are you New, your New Yorks? New Yorks are ready. And I'm walking with Darnish on your left, chef. Walking New York strip. Walking char, right side. Fucking hell. This is insane. Take it back to her, please. Hi, Amanda. What? It's under. How much? Oh, wow. Hurry up, Amanda. We are competing to be the head chef at BLT Steak. Not BLT Chicken. Not BLT Fish. BLT Steak. Oh, my God. Hey, 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 all of you, come in here. Uh-oh. This cannot be good. All of you, get in here. I'm getting pissed off. Oh, fuck. Can we take over? I'll take fish if you want to take me. Yeah. What jacket are you wearing? Black jacket, chef. Black jacket. Look at this. Look at the sear. It's undercooked. Hey, let me tell you something. Here, it's not going to burn you. Hold it. I swear to God, when you walk through those doors, get a grip. Yes, chef. chef. You need to sear both sides, hit the fat cap, this and then the base. I and base okay. it at the end to heat it through. Yeah. Okay. I know. I, yes, right, I understand. I need you to focus. I am. Everyone I, focus? Yeah. All right, focus. We need to change this dinner service around like yesterday. The fat lady has not sung yet. Let's keep it real here. Keep them in the pan. They're good. Walking New York strip. Good. Well done. Last table. Arctic tar one welly, how long? Char, two minutes. Kristen is stepping up in a really big way on a on a really big night. Garnish, do you have anything for me? All right, man, I'm running while the garnish to the window. How long? Right after you. Walking Char. Well, he's walking. I swear to God, this is fucking so painful. This is short and it's raw. He I comes knew. to you. I knew. It's under cooks. Don't face it. Char's getting sent back. Snapper's getting sent back. Scallops getting sent back. I mean over this kid. Out the way, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Hey, all of you, all of you, come here a minute. Just go over to the chef table, and just do one little thing. Just apologize. Okay. I'll cook the last table. Oh my god. What the fuck? We're supposed to be looking good here, and that's not a good look. Chef, we really, to apologize. We're really sorry about our performance tonight. Chef is cooking the last table for us. Did I say enough? Do we even have to say anything? No, no. And my apologies, you two. It should have been a better service. Fucking dismal. 
I don't get it. I really don't fucking get it. That was one of the worst black jacket performances ever in the history of House Kitchen. For the first time tonight, do one thing as a team. Decide on the one person that does not belong in the final four. Is that clear? Yes, yes. chef. Now get out of here. Tonight was embarrassing. We have black jackets on. This should not even remotely be happening. I'm so irritated right now. We need to figure out which station went down the worst. Hands down, I'm gonna say meat station went down the worst. That's who I think as well. If you don't know how to sear a steak, let someone know. Most of my steaks that went out, like, were fucking perfect. Come on. What service was that? Because the one that I was in, all your, ser all your steaks all were fucked them. up. You were fucking them up. No, not all of them. Baffled, bro. Fucking baffled. I can fucking cook a steak. I would nominate Jared. I know I'm a fucking stronger everything than Jared is. I don't think the small errors I made are enough to put me up. What about the cold fucking lobster tail? Right off the bat. What about the snappers? Tomorrow will be a more successful service with me there than Amanda. What happens if Ashley stops talking to you again tonight? Oh my god. Fuck it. No, not fuck it. You weren't mentally prepared. Jared, you've checked out. I think you've given up on yourself. You've given up on the fight. Why the fuck are you here? Good job, girls. You finally used that lump three feet above your fucking ass. I was frustrated last night, and I let it carry over today. You're in a fucking black jacket. You don't say that shit. I can't trust you if you're saying that shit. But I showed hustle all night. It's not good enough, because you fucked up today. I barely fucked up today. You barely fuck up, and you did fuck up. You fucked up today. You fucked up today. Set up both phones. After a surprisingly bad dinner service, a disappointed Chef Ramsay tasked the final five with nominating one chef for elimination. Black jackets. Have you reached a decision? Yes, yes Chef. Kristen, who have you decided should not be in the final four? Jared, Chef. Jared, why? Jared failed pretty heavily on the fish station tonight. And then we all feel that Jared has mentally checked out. Wow. Jared, step forward, please. Jared, you've been on this incredible journey. How much does this competition mean to you? This competition means a lot to me, Chef. I came here with little expectations because I didn't know how well I was going to do. And then when I started to see myself flourish, it gave me something to drive for. I am not giving up. Do you know what? I want to hear from somebody else. Amanda, step forward. Yes, yeah, Chef. <clears throat> Tonight wasn't your best performance. This should have been a great night, and the fact that it wasn't makes me so angry. Like I can't even I can't even put it into words. This is really hard. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is Amanda. Take off your jacket, please. Yes, Chef. Let me tell you something yes, and listen carefully. Absolutely. You are a feisty, determined, very passionate uh, young lady. Do not give up. I absolutely will not. I've learned more than I've learned in 30 years of life. I mean, this meant more to me than anything that you'll ever even understand. I can see it. Thank you so much. Bye -bye. Guys, good luck. Have fun. Do awesome. Thank you. Walking into Hell's Kitchen, I didn't think I was gonna make it past the first week. It's not bad, but it's a little bit weird. I'm a little bit weird. <laughs> I was not confident in myself at all. Did you taste that risotto? I, yes. Are you serious? It's like you don't care. Bad things happen. You wanna speak to me, you say, Frank! Frank! Do me a favor, get out! Are you fucking kidding me? But then great things happen too. That's a very solid four. Brilliant.
Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, we'll take this chick on our team. Oh. I've done things while I was here that I would have never been able to do any other time in my life. So awesome. You can make it in Hell's Kitchen, you can make it absolutely anywhere. Brett, enough with the attitude! And I've grown throughout this competition. Good job. Thank you. I can't wait to go home and show my kids this new and improved mommy. Jack, Dylan, Audrey, mommy is coming home. Get ready. Jared, I know how much you care and how much this competition means to you. Unfortunately, I can't let you continue because you are not as strong as the three ladies standing behind you. Give me your jacket, please. Yes, chef. You've got a great mind. You've been a great competitor, and the day will come. Thank you, chef. Stay in it. Yes, chef. Good Pleasure. Job. Take care. From that first moment I came to Hell's Kitchen, I was confident. You're a poker player. What do you think I'm going to say? Four. <laughs> Four out of five. Yeah. Right out of the gate, I show that I'm strong. Jared, great, confident, strong performance. Thank you. But I had my fair share of bumps along the way. The chicken is raw. Jared, get out. One of the best things about being on Hell's Kitchen was becoming friends with Ashley. Ooh. Blast away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we had our fight, but Ashley and I were just genuine friends. I'm here for you. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a hell of a journey. Woo! To the blue team win. I may not be the executive chef of BLT State, but I'm leaving here with my head held very high. Ashley, Ariel, and Kristen, the competition is wide open. And how you perform from here on in will determine who will become the next winner of Hell's Kitchen. Is that clear? Yes, chef. Good luck. Get out of here. Yes, yeah, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Top three. It doesn't get much realer than this. All I know is that I'm going to be standing there at the end, and I'm that much closer right now. I am two people away from winning this whole thing. I've been dreaming of this since I was 17 years old. I can taste victory. It is right around the corner. The competition is still not over. Like, I still can't relax. There's still two other people that need to be eliminated, and I have what it takes to win. I can't deny Manda's passion, nor Gerard's commitment, but it was painfully obvious that they just couldn't measure up to my final three.